viewers, Rectangular back, this time with another haul video. Here we have a bunch of loose items I got from various places. First, my buddy Michael Wisman sent me some cool webs for Spider-Man. So you can pop the hand off and uh, hook them into the hole there for his hand and then pop the hand back on and I uh, think those look really nice. haven't messed around with them yet but it um, saves me a lot of time because I'm buried in projects, don't really have time to make stuff like that so um, yeah he cranked those out pretty quickly so thank you Michael for those and then from the casting cave I got some effects here that uh, need to be painted up. I have some effects from them um, that I got from my Nova, which I still have yet to paint, but um, these are pretty cool. They're a little bit smaller than the ones I have previously. They just need a little bit of trimming there to get the excess plastic off, but those look very cool. And then also from Casting Cave, I got some heads. Um, you might have seen in a previous haul video that I got uh, uh, Larflees still in the package sealed and was going to kitbash him. But um, I really just need the head. The hands are pretty useful, but I've got other uh, character or creature hands that I can use for him. So I just decided to go ahead and get the Larfley's head. So I will paint that to look you know, different from Larfley's and use that on a kitbash in the near future. Then uh, it's probably going to have a hard time showing up on camera, but ah, there it goes. This is the head from the Marvel Select. Um, actually not the Marvel Select but the old uh, original Hydra Soldiers from Hasbro yeah this is uh, the frowny face and he's been shrunk down to fit on Marvel Legends body like the Bucky Cap mold and then we have the Pizza Spidey which um, I'm gonna uh, modify this head to use with a, another figure so those are very cool I, Always love Casting Cave. Um, thanks so much, Corey, for your excellent work. And then on eBay, I got this gentleman here. I guess his name is Alan Clusive. So you may have seen my reviews for some of the figures made by a company called Happy Worker. I have the Super Mom. I reviewed her, and also the. Um, the Geek, I'm trying to remember what his name is, Geek Man I think is the name of that character, and um, was just looking on eBay to see you know, if there were any other Happy Worker figures on there, um, they're becoming more and more difficult to find for a good price, and saw this on a Chinese seller's page, and never seen this figure before, and no idea it existed. Um, it is the same as the oh I also have that one too it's the money man um, I have the money man I think I did a review on that one as well and uh, it's pretty much the same figure except uh, he's a African American gentleman so that one comes with different accessories this apparently was made for Safeco um, which is an insurance company so it comes with a little book that says Safeco playbook on it comes with a little stand and then he comes with this cool little um, tackle box which you can uh, open up and put things in so very cool I think I got him for um, it was under twenty dollars shipped so very you know he's in great condition so uh, very happy with that purchase and then uh, from a gentleman on Facebook I don't remember who exactly I uh, got this Toy Biz Craven going to um, in the next segment here show the different heads on the new Craven and so I wanted to get this one and the uh, I got the the crazy um, shouting Craven to swap out with the new Rhino Wave Craven so stay tuned for that and then on eBay as well I got uh, Power Girl here I just needed her uh, lower legs for a custom that I'm going to be doing so um, 
yeah, stay tuned for that as well. And let's go ahead and move on to the next items. Here we have a couple of Marvel Legends from the Rhino Wave. On the left is Chameleon, and on the right we have Kraven. Was able to snag these off of Amazon for 19 shipped plus tax. And yeah, I needed a extra chameleon for the arm and to modify one of the heads to fit on the wrestling figure that I got for Hammerhead. And then uh, Craven, I wanted a backup Craven and also wanted the leg so that I can have two semi complete um, Rhino build figures. Uh, I only have the one pair of heads, so um, that, that head is pretty easy to pop off in exchange. But I uh, wanted to have two complete rhinos so that I could um, fill in the holes on the shoulders once you remove those armor pieces. So with that, let's go ahead and show the head modifications or swaps that I'm going to do with Craven and Hammerhead. Alright, so here we have the figure head swaps that I wanted to do. On the far left we have Hammerhead on the Paul Heyman Build-A-Figure body. And I think that's a much better body for that head than this uh, chameleon figure that um, it's supposed to go on. Uh, Hammerhead's supposed to be um, a stocky dude. He's not gigantic, but he's big and stocky, so I think that's a perfect fit. The Triple H body is too big. Um, it's about another half inch bigger than this one, so I think this is a really nice fit. And let's see, uh, we have the Toy Biz Craven head on the Rhino Wave Craven body. That's the screaming face, and um, looks pretty good except for the paint uh, obviously doesn't match actually this one there's no paint it's just a brighter uh, flesh tone plastic so I'll probably try and tone that down and uh, try to get all of the heads um, and the and the flesh tone on his body all consistent color so I'm gonna <clears throat> pause the video real quick and do the head swap with the other um, the grinning face, not the screaming face that this one is. And here we have the first Craven that we got from Toy Biz, his head on the Rhino Wave body. And I think this looks a lot better. The flesh tone paint is a little bit closer to the skin tone of the Rhino Wave figure and a little less uh, cartoonish looking face, I think. So, um, yeah, very cool. It's sad that we have to uh, hunt down these old Toy Biz figures that have a lot more expression on their faces than these uh, extremely somber heads that we're getting from the newer Marvel Legends. That's my biggest complaint with uh, Gentle Giant is that they uh, are just not really bringing it uh, when it comes to the, the head sculpts. Uh, you know, they're doing some good ones um, like Grim Reaper but they're very inconsistent it's like they'll have one that's really got a lot of expression and then the, everybody else is just kind of out of a blank stare on their face and they all look too similar as well alright let's go ahead and move on to the last items next up from McFarlane Toys we have a couple of spawn figures that I picked up on eBay they were from the same seller, it was a, a lot of these two items, technically it's three items. Got Spawn in his throne and then this demon creature which I cannot remember the name of. But the only, I got a really good deal but the only problem was that the seller packed it horrible, packed the box horribly and I had to repair this demon creature. had a broken arm, a broken foot, and both the legs were broken off. So uh, it was quite challenging to get creative on 
how I was going to put the thing back together because uh, even though I, I, I really just bought the items for the throne to use with my Mephisto, the demon was pretty good condition even with the brakes so I was able to put them back together with some glue and some screws you can probably see bolts being exposed there in the um, elbow I had to take a screw and cut it in half and then thread it through one of the kneecaps so he's got a, uh, a metal uh, knee kneecap replacement and then on this um, ankle here where the foot broke off uh, he's got another screw going into there with a um, bolt that I wedged into the plastic so um, yeah fortunately he is a uh, functional now um, you know it's not gonna be completely aesthetically pleasing I'll just have to repaint those uh, exposed bolts that are sticking out and uh, and the screws yeah with a little bit of um, paint he's gonna look uh, pretty damn cool and I can use him in uh, some displays with Doctor Strange or with Thor or with um, Mephisto Ghost Rider those type of guys so pretty cool about that and um, Spawn I don't have any need for this so um, if anybody wants it uh, just let me know. Just give me a couple bucks for shipping, and he's yours. Um, the Mephisto does fit in there pretty well, and uh, actually, think he fits in there better than the Spawn. And I do plan on uh, doing some paint modifications to it, but uh, I got him in there before without too many issues, so I don't want to force it since you know I'm at this weird angle. But um, I think with a little bit of paint, <clears throat> it's going to look pretty cool with him sitting in there. So anyway, it's a cheap solution if you can get him. Um, I think it, I've seen the throne and spawn go for like uh, around between 25 and 30 shipped um, just that by themselves. I was lucky enough to get the all three of these items, you know, minus Mephisto, obviously, and uh, I think it only cost me like 11 50 with shipping, so really good deal. Yeah, finally have a throne for my Mephisto, so I'm psyched. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next items. Finally this week from Star Wars The Black Series, we have the Force Awakens Rey and Chewbacca. I was lucky enough to grab Ray at Kmart and she only cost me that's like fifteen fifty around there. I was fortunate enough to have like five dollars in uh bonus points or whatever they call f frequent buyer points and uh cash those in so I don't think, I think there's only two or three of all the Black Series figures that I've been able to pick up at retail uh, or online that I actually paid um, full price for. The rest I either uh, got loose or um, got at a discount either on eBay or Amazon. Speaking of Amazon, I got this Chewbacca on Amazon for, for a damaged box and uh, he was only... Uh, he was less than 16 shipped as well. I think he was about 15 uh, in change, probably like 1575 or something like that. Yeah, very happy about that because I wanted the uh, new Chewbacca head, but um, didn't want to have to pay full price for that figure at all since he's um, almost identical, you know, a little bit of paint difference, and I guess the bandolier is uh, bigger on this one. But um, don't know if I'll end up just um, doing a head swap. Not that concerned about being all that, you know, super accurate to the movies. But uh, definitely wanted a less uh, angry <laughs> Chewbacca. I didn't like that we were stuck with a screaming Chewbacca head. So 
Uh, very cool. I don't think I'm going to keep uh, BB-8. I'm probably going to sell him or if you can call a droid a him. Uh, or I am just going to get sell Ray with BB-8 and, um, and just get her uh, loose either on Facebook or eBay. So with that, hopefully you guys like the haul. You share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and I always love hearing back from you guys, so please leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. That's crispy.